volunteers are making sure that everyone has a warm meal to enjoy on Thanksgiving. WLWT News host Christy Davis shows us how local charities are lending a helping hand for the holidays. Yeah, and you thought your kitchen got busy for Thanksgiving. This is the hub for St. Vincent de Paul's holiday meal giveaway. And this year could be the busiest ever. As volunteers fill the bags, the feeling of gratitude fills the air. The, the volunteers here are wonderful. Um, they bring you out coffee and donuts, and while you're standing in line, a lot of great people, a lot of hospitality here. That appreciation is nourishment to the volunteers and employees. It's just amazing to be out here to be able to touch the people and say hi. You know what I'm saying? They're very appreciative, and I'm happy to be here. The goal is to find a way to put a Thanksgiving meal on the table of everyone waiting in line, but that's becoming more difficult to do. For the first time in years, St. Vincent de Paul had to turn people away. So we know it's going to be a hard year, and just based on the number of people in the line right now, we're trying to figure out what we're going to be able to do. Volunteers passed out 1,200 meals before closing the doors. Executive Director Liz Carter says the need is definitely greater. In the last year, people utilizing their food pantry has increased by 17 percent. There's a lot of families that are going back to work, but they are not going back to jobs that can sustain a family. And if you're looking for a way to give back right now, Liz Carter with St. Vincent Paul says look in your own community, find those families who may be in need, and lend a helping hand. Reporting from St. Vincent Paul, Christy Davis, W. WT News 5. And for those families still in need of a holiday meal, the Free Store Food Bank on Liberty in Over the Rhine is going to continue their holiday box program tomorrow. That's going to be from 8 in the morning until noon.